Hi, this is Madam Pamita, and I hope you enjoy this clip from my Live Magic Q&A. If you'd like to see the full recording of the Live Magic Q&A, you can do so. All you have to do is be a part of my coven. And to do that, all you have to do is click the link below or go to patreon.com slash Madam Pamita. I hope you become a part of my coven and enjoy this clip. Diane says, I set up a cute little altar in my kitchen for my ancestors and house spirits and started doing simple offerings of bread and salt, etc. Now a bunch of my ancestors are showing up wanting their favorite stuff. Black coffee for my mom, whiskey for my grandpa, food for my grandma. I'm running out of space. I need to consolidate before it gets out of hand, but I'm just so thrilled that they all showed up and want to honor them. Any suggestions? I have a great suggestion for you. So spirits when we're doing an ancestor altar or a house spirit altar it's it's spending time with the spirit and consistency so let's let's just talk about a house spirit like the domovic right so domovic is the ukrainian house spirit and if you're going to leave an offering to him it's like you set up a rhythm so let's say you do it once a week if you do it every sunday do it on sunday and then do it every sunday or if you're doing it every day, do it every day. Or if you're doing it every other day, do it every other day. What you don't want to do is like have like seven days in a row where you give them an offering and then three months where you don't give them an offering. And then all of a sudden you're back into it and doing some days. It, it's just spirits don't like it. I don't know why. <laughs> they'll complain and they'll show you their, they'll hide things, they'll move things. Um, you know, so you don't want that to happen. So here's what I suggest for you, Diane. You've got mom, grandpa, grandma, and I don't know if you have any others. If you have seven different spirits that you're working on, give them each a day of the week. Mom, you're always going to get coffee on Sunday. Grandpa, you're always going to get your whiskey on, on Tuesday. Now, you can leave those things out for a couple of days, especially coffee and whiskey. You can leave those things out. Um, if they have candy that can be left out for a while, you don't have to change it out the next day. If you want to change it out the next day, cause it's getting crowded, you can do that too. So you leave the coffee out for mom on Sunday and that's her day. You leave the whiskey out for grandpa, you can take it off the next day and put out something else if space is a concern. But that's the way I would do it. And just let them know, okay, everybody's going to have their day. Everybody's going to have their turn. Everybody's going to get their thing, not to worry, and it's going to be on this schedule. The most important thing that we can give our ancestors is our time and our attention and our gratitude. Talk to them. If you talk to them, that's probably the best thing that you can give them. I mean, I almost think like, the offering is great uh, don't get me wrong it's great but what it does is it starts you connecting with them you know it gives you this connection to them they already love you and adore you it's not like you're working with a new spirit that doesn't know you and you're trying to appease it that's not the thing you're just showing up for them but it's like think about this like if mom came over for coffee once a week at your house, let's say mom visited once a week at your house and came over for coffee. If she popped by on an unexpected time, would she be mad that you didn't serve her coffee? Of course not. She'd be fine, right? So I think that's the way to do it. And then you have only one thing out each day. Now, because you have three or four, um, grandma, grandpa, mom, you have three, or maybe you have more, you could rotate it in days of three. You so you could do every third day. So you'd have a rotation of coffee, whiskey, food, coffee, whiskey, food, coffee, whiskey, food. You could do it that way as well. So just a thought, you know, I think that could be the solution for that. And um, they know what their schedule is. You can tell them this is what their schedule is. You can tell them the situation. You know, they're not demanding, you know, spirits. I mean, the spirits want the warmth and the connection, but they're not gonna be like, dang it, you didn't, you know, it's not like they're starving. They're there absorbing the energy out of the food and appreciating that and remembering, you know, and building the connection with you. But it's not like you should feel like, oh my God, if I don't feed them, they're gonna suffer in some way. It's not the case, not the case.